Thank you.
As soon as I entered Mr. Deck's dressing room, he shouted, Get out, I said I don't want to be disturbed. I was so shocked that I couldn't keep my blank face. Mr. Deck looked confused. It's you isn't it, get away from me you yellow bastard, he said as he reached for a huge red alarm button, but he was interrupted by Mr. Silton falling from a vent in the ceiling. All right Deck, smirked Mr. Silton. Hello Barry. And it's Mr. Deck if you don't mind, replied Mr. Deck as he hammered on the alarm button. Quick, said Mr. Silton as he turned to me, find a way to stop that alarm. There were four alarms left to turn off. Three alarms left. There were two alarms left.
There was one alarm left. completely turned off the alarm. A serious looking security guard walked into the guards and set so I quickly approached him. I wasn't sure what I was going to do, but I knew I had to keep him out of Mr. Deck's dressing room. I attempted to resume the blank face that Mr. Silton had shown me as I announced that Mr. Deck was not to be disturbed. For some reason I said it in an unusually high pitched voice, which didn't seem helpful. The security guard's eyes narrowed. Now in a full panic, for some reason I decided this was a good moment to do the finger guns for the first time. The large man shoved me out of the way. But quick as a flash Mr. Logan had appeared and snapped his neck. Sorry, had to be done, was all he said before running back toward Mr. Deck's room. I didn't know you shredded the axe, said Mr. Logan as he placed an acoustic guitar into an ornate sarcophagus. I don't, said Mr. Deck, 
I got it for Elton John to sign. For once, everyone else looked as confused as I did. We'll take this wine, and this portable TV, said Mr. Preston as he packed the coffin with as many expensive things he could find. These bathrobes are pretty fancy as well. Put those down, said Mr. Deck. Elton John gave me those. What's with you and Elton bloody John, asked Mr. Silton, but Mr. Deck just looked angry. Why are you doing this, he said. There's easier ways to get good wine and cheese. You can't just burst in here and take my stuff. A large smile crept across Mr. Silton's face as he said, Oh, it's not just your stuff we're taking. You try to take me anywhere, said Mr. Deck, and I'll scream this place down, I know people in high places. I'll have you executed, and that little yellow bastard dismantled. My father is the head of the BCT. But Mr. Silton's smile widened as he pulled out a bag full of familiar-looking mushrooms. Robot, take the sarcophagus this way back to the loading bay, said Mr. Silton. We'll climb back through the vents and meet you there.